And then after taking these x-rays, did you, uh, slightly later in the morning, start the full autopsy exam process? Yes. And did that include, as you described earlier, examining the body as it was before cleaning and doing additional uh, further examination? Yes, that's standard procedure. Could we put Exhibit 114 on the screen, please? Could you describe what's shown here, please, in Exhibit 114? Uh, yes, we take pictures of the body as is. So this is after I have broken the seal on the body bag. And without disturbing uh, the body or any of the contents, we take the as is photograph. So this is a view of the lower half of the decedent's body. You can see uh, jeans there. There's a, a single shoe on the left foot, a sock on the right. And the condition of the clothing and body as it is depicted here, was that as it was on scene when you had observed the body the day before? Yes. Could we put exhibit 116 on the screen, please? What's shown here? So this is a photograph that is uh, one image uh, more superior or towards the head relative to the picture we just saw. Uh, I've placed a... Uh, privacy towel over the uh, decedent's privates. And what we're seeing here, again, is a view of the body, similar to that we, as we saw in the field. You can see medical interventions, clothing as, it, as we saw it in the field, um, and uh, particularly medical interventions overlying gunshot wounds of the chest here. So at this point, um, all of those medical interventions are still attached to the body, is that right? Yes, this is the very as-is photograph, so we haven't uh, manipulated those interventions in any way. If we could put Exhibit 118 on the screen, please. Did you do some further examination of those seals that you had described and sort of um, continue to look in those areas? Yeah, so as, as I alluded to earlier, we take photographs and document what we see initially, and then we remove in a stepwise fashion uh, the various clothing articles and interventions. What we're looking at here is the injury on the uh, lower left side of the chest, and I've peeled away the occlusive dressing that was placed uh, in the field. And could you please, for the jury, just describe the difference between an entrance wound and an exit wound? In general? In general, and then as applied to the images that we see. Yes. In general, entrance wounds, entrance gunshot wounds, have a, a circular or oval appearance. There's usually some missing tissue in the center of the wound. Um, there can be abrasions around the edge of the wound. Um, this particular image that we're looking at here does show a wound that, that has those features. We will see uh, a cleaned up version of this in subsequent images. And when you say those features, is what you observe here consistent with an entrance wound? They are, yes. And then if we could put Exhibit 119 on the screen, please. Could you describe what's shown here, please? So this is uh, the picture of the right side of the chest, uh, again, with the occlusive dressing peeled back, showing an area of injury. It's difficult to see here due to the presence of blood, uh, but, but this is the, the, uh, the opposite injury. And when you say opposite injury, would you characterize that as how would you characterize that? Yes, um, we will see that, that the uh, injury on the left side of the chest is an entrance wound, uh, and, and this will be uh, shown to show features of an exit gunshot wound. It happened when we peeled back this uh, uh, dressing uh, that you could actually palpate or feel the bullet directly below the skin adjacent to this wound. So that was a definite clue that this was the exit side. And then after removing the item, removing the medical interventions, removing the, the seals, um, documenting that process as you went along, did you ultimately clean the body and then continue to do further investigation or examination? Yes. If we could put Exhibit 120 on the screen, please. Could you describe what's shown here, please? So this is a view of Mr. Wright's chest from the front. And uh, pictured here are, are the entrance and exit wounds. May I mark yes, you may. these areas? So again, on the left side here and on the right side here are uh, the gunshot wounds in question. 
that we've looked at initially. And what, if anything, is significant to you about the positioning of these two injuries? Uh, other than the fact that they are on the front side of the chest, the anterior side of the chest, and there's a little swelling around these wounds beneath the skin, uh, suggestive of hemorrhage, uh, those are the major findings. And Dr. Lauren I'll Jackson going over the injuries to the fatal injuries to Dante Wright. Step aside and take a break. We'll be right back after this.